I suppose you heard this before, dirtbag. You move and you're a long time dead. You'd think, because I went on vacation, I was responsible for all the homicides we've had around here the past week. How'd you like a little good news? Are these guys bought and paid for? You catch them dirty. Lieutenant? Blow them out of their socks. Thirteen eighty nine, thirteen eighty nine, John X three, Paul. Eight eight thirty nine, no water warrant, Roger. Come on now. She's gonna know everything in the world by the time. Come on, I can't see that light here. Come on, I don't. I don't believe you're gonna let me make my call. You always make it come on. I did. I did. I just a few out. Oh, how many times? I'm dead. I'm dead. I never liked your friends. You was working in vice school. I and always I never liked thought you. you had a crush on me. A I'd... crush? I yeah. like to crush you. You're Maybe a pimp. You You're hiding behind that badge. Like hey, that. Moonlighting again, huh? Oh yeah, and your boyfriend ain't no better either. Taking it to a lady's window. That's the way the game gets played, oh, sweetheart. Oh, please, Dad. Hey, well, hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Lieutenant. How you doing, Lou? Oh, you're looking good, Lieutenant. Bob, Marty. It's me, my dear ma'am. You remember me? Yeah. You shut up. You remember me, don't you, Lieutenant? Sure do, Martine. See, my boys have got you again. I'd say I told them that I was on a program. I'm taking meth. I'm to, I'm to a methadone. I'm, they can't bust me for being no hype, Lieutenant. Okay, my turn. How you doing, Lou? How was the vacation? And are you glad to be back? Vacation was beautiful. Still got one more day. It is terrible to be back. Come on, Lou. You know you missed the toilet. No way. Oh, you guys, maybe, but this sewer of a city, never. Oh, hey, Lieutenant. Man, come on. See you later. You know, come on, my Wait, now. I told you guys I ain't got no heroin in my system. Hey, I'm on death and death. You track marks on your arm. Track marks. Man, I gave blood yesterday. You ain't no diamond. Come on. You know, they can't bust me for being no hype. Come on, Martin. Come on, May I help you? Atlas Security, miss. I was told to report to a Mr. Slonsky. Mr. Slonsky? Yes? There's a guard here from Atlas Security, sir. Security? Okay, I'll be right out. Mr. Slonsky will be right out. Yes, thank you very much. I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. I didn't order any security personnel. Well, maybe you should have. Come on, get in here. Come on, move! Move! Open that door and get in there. eyes on the floor.
this contractor. You build me a house at Arkansas prices, $13 a foot. You gotta be kidding it. It's 30 to 40 bucks a foot out here. <laughs> well, look, I better be getting out of here. I just came by for my paychecks. When are you getting back to work, boss? Tomorrow. Sorry to say. Investigator Howell? 211, 187, yeah. Let me have it. This way, dummy! Hey, Lieutenant, how goes it? Hey, man, I swallowed it. You ain't got nothing on me. You can't pop my stomach. You ain't got nothing on me. Great to have you back, Lou. Move, turkey. I see our dope cops are just as noisy as usual. Uh, 2331 South Beach. Okay, Ron. I'll make the notifications. Hey, tell me, uh, you need any help down there? Okay. Anybody want to go along with me? We got another 211-187. Batson and Lem are already on the scene. I ain't even on vacation. Somebody flushed the toilet. Back shot. What happened? Back. Name's Tony Lopez. Drives a route truck. He just driven up when the suspects came running out of the bakery. Two and a wheel man. Made off with about 1500 in cash, money collected from the route men. Pretty slick operation. Well, something went wrong. Any clues? Slim and none. Which? Yeah. Mr. Slotsky, he's the manager. He's a little shook up. Then there's Miss Peterson. She's the receptionist. Mr. Slotsky, Miss Peterson, this is Lieutenant Randall. He's in charge of the investigation. Are you all right? Barely. My God, I thought they were going to kill us. You were fortunate. Are you all right, Miss? Yes, thank you. And you're right. We were very fortunate. Do you believe you can identify any of the suspects? No, heavens no. I couldn't. I mean, it happened so I quick. I could positively identify the one in the guard's uniform. Guard's uniform? Yes, he came in in a guard's uniform. Atlas Security, it was. He was black, 25 to 30 years old. His hair was short. He was tall, very tall, maybe 6'5", and he had this gold tooth. Uh, yes, he did. He, uh, he had a gold tooth. Very distinctive, right up front. And something else. He put his gun to my back when I was lying on the floor, and he said, move and you're a long time dead. Just like that, he told me. OK, the investigators, Batson and Lamb, will have to talk to you some more down at the station. Now, you're sure you're all right? You weren't injured. Absolutely fine. Thank you, Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant, you know they're starting to pile up? Homicides. This is the fourth this week. All unrelated. Entire team's carrying a full load. Murder's up. That's not unusual for this city. Hey, how'd you do? Hmm? The rodeo. Oh, what, did he rodeo? My car broke down. My horse is tied up over that black and white. <laughs> Byron, this is the second time you busted down my door. The first got thrown out of court, and so will this one. No, this one ain't gonna be Miles. You know why? We got a paper. It says it's all legal, very proper. I can do anything I want. My mobile! Man, what about my mobile? Yeah. You've destroyed a work of art. Well, Miles, I guess it just didn't stand the test of time. Let's go. Benny. Hi, Sarge. Benny, straighten up for me, will you? Sure. We ain't talked in a while, have we, Ben? No. No, we ain't talked in a while. How's your wife? Oh, my lady finally left me. In the nick of time. Yeah, I was no good for her anyway. You got out of one of those? Forget it. Benny, you know, uh... This is going to violate you. Mm -hmm. I won't do nothing, though. Jeez, Benny! Don't let me hear that, will you, please? Every time you come in here, same old story. I didn't do nothing. I wasn't lying. I, Benny, I... you know why I know you're lying? Your mouth is moving. All right, what do you want? I want Miles' connection. Oh, come on. I don't know nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. I snort some coke with a guy. I don't, I don't Benny, know nothing. I'm going to tell you straight how it's going to be. I want Miles Connection. All right. All right. I, I could give you something. I'll give you something. Give me something. I'll give you something. It doesn't have nothing to do with Miles. I, I All right. I... Oh, look, Captain. I just got back off a of vacation. I'm aware of the problem. I know how many 211s and homicides we're carrying. Now, no, sir. I don't want to bring them down here in this week. Yeah, I know that, Bill. Look, you want to have lunch tomorrow? Okay, Vinny's at noon. What? 
Yeah. Oh, boy. What is it, Bob? How do you like that? Mm -hmm. You got the duty. Yes, sir. Acting duty officer. More of the proverbial that rolls downhill, along with the heat the captain's putting on. You'd think, because I went on vacation, I was responsible for all the homicides we've had around here the past week. How'd you like a little good news? Please. And no, there ain't no deals. Excepting for the fact, if the info isn't righteous, I shall punch your lights out. It's just stick up to him, honestly. Okay, who, what, when, and where, Benny, and no jive? Well, I was laying up in this dude's crib down what the jungle. What dude? A stepler. A guy named Alvin Stepler. So? Come on, so what? Well, he's got this gun, see, and he's, he's tooting some coke, you know. He's one of these guys who starts snorting coke, he talks funny, he's waving a gun around. He's talking about a robbery. Where? Uh, a bakery down the south end. When? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Recent. Come on, when? Recent. All right, who was with him? I know, don't, don't know no names. Who is with them? I don't know any names, a couple of brothers. Brothers, huh? You don't know their names. you just seen them. Would you know them if you saw their pictures? Maybe, I don't know. I, listen, listen, I, I tell you about this one dude, the leader. He's very, very bad well, guy. Well, tell, tell. Well, you can make him easy. You can make him How easy. can we make him? He's got this gold tooth, see, right, right in front. <laughs> Captain. My narco boys can handle this one. Like those long-haired degenerates. They can get into the jungle where those straight-A sticks out of robbery and homicide would get made in an instant. Listen, I, I worked narcotics for two years. We didn't need long hair and beards, and we got the job done. What is this, Bill? A discussion of hair court regulations, or are we trying to solve a problem? They are damn good investigators. They came up with a big clue on that bakery caper. Narco has their own area of responsibility. And it isn't running around the city solving homicides. Their badges say investigator and sergeant. They are assigned to SIT. The special investigative team is my responsibility. The entire division is my responsibility. My badge says captain, remember? You want to replace me? How many narc teams are you talking about? One. Bandit and Costa, maybe two. Miss, can I have another piece of bread, please? Garlic bread gives you gas, you know, Lou. I know, but I like it. I'm taking flack from downtown. All right. You stick your narco boys on this one, but it's gonna be your head that rolls if they screw up. Dessert? No, I'm trying to get back on my diet. No. Yeah, okay. Ice cream and pie. Both. Is it Alvin? 
You don't know nothing about no gold tooth, and you don't know nothing about no robberies. That's right, and that stuff you got ain't mine. Whose is it, Alvin? What happened? Little birdie give it to you? Them other pigs planted it on me. Pigs, Alvin? In that case, this whole thing must be a setup. You That's think? right, this is a setup. Yeah, you it? see, Alvin, in a way, you're right. You're about to be set up, but not for that chump thing of snow you think you scored. How's murder grab you, Alvin? Murder, you gots to be jiving. This ain't no jive, Slick. It's the big time caper. Murder, man, I ain't killed nobody. I ain't listening to this. I ain't here. Yeah. You better clean out your ears. You're going for a murder ride. Simple as that. You see, what he says is true, Slick. You better get yourself a real good lawyer. Because you're headed up a creek without a paddle. You were driving. A man was killed during the commission of a felony. Now that makes the rap first degree murder. You better face it, Slick. They're gonna put you so far away, they're gonna have to pump sunlight to you. Unless, Alvin. Unless you want a little immunity. Mm hmm. In which case, you roll over gold tooth to us and. We let you talk to the DA. I'm absolutely sure you guys could work something out. Only person I want to roll over is... Hey, go on, you just say it, man. Don't do that, Alvin. He'll get huh? mad. You hear what he said? You want to make us angry? Why don't you make us lucky? All the way around, huh? Come on. The hair was a bit shorter. Closer to the scalp. Yes. Yes, that's him. Perfect. This is him. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Ugly looking dude. I just knew he was going to kill me. He kept saying, move, and you're a long time dead. Just like that? He almost scared me to death. Well, I'll try to get to him before he kills somebody else. Maybe for a girlfriend? Oh, no, no, no. I don't. Uh, I don't have a girlfriend, and uh, I'm not married. He lies a lot. Actually, we're looking for this special trophy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we bought one here before. Fishing, golf, tennis. Oh no, no, no. Uh, uh, maybe we better show you. Do you have a catalog? Certainly. Hold on. Yeah. guys you gotta be kidding have i ever kidded you <laughs> too many times i would you bob's partner yeah <laughs> then i believe you about as much as i believe him he wouldn't kid you would i kid you number uh, 403b well i guess it isn't for a girlfriend hardly it's it's for our boss well i hope he has a sense of humor Oh, no, 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 no. This is not meant to be funny. This is serious. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, uh, sentimental. With love. Whatever you say. I'll get one out of stock for you. Oh, uh, miss, we don't want to take it with us right now. Uh, we'd like to have something inscribed on it. You, you think you could, uh, fit all these words into it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Montgomery's, right? Oh, you don't, you don't have to write it out. We have a stamp for that. But I do need to see your driver's license and two credit cards. Uh, driver's license, I got, but uh, credit cards, I don't believe it. Will, um, will this do? I think so. Boys, this is it. I'm not pulling another package. Bye. Bye. I'll see you Friday. Hey, hey. 
I'm with her. I'm tired of this paper shuffling routine. It ain't my job. I'm bored. There's nothing here. The lieutenant wants it. Oh, come on. I know all that stuff. But how many dealers could there be in this area? He says he wants something. We're going to give it to him. Hey, look, Grant. Mm. But if it wasn't for Lou, I wouldn't even be here. Photos. Hey, half the packages don't even have photographs. That's all right. I'm looking, too. You find something hot, you say so. I'll say so. <laughs> hey. What? Listen to this rap sheet. Arrested, 261 PC, age 13. Arrested, 288A PC, age 14. Ooh. Arrested, 647A PC, age 15. <laughs> Rape, sexual perversion, and lewd conduct. Man, I, I hadn't even started to shave when I was that age. Sit down, Alvin. Alvin, we're gonna do you a turn. How'd you like to be walking the streets? When I look like a fool, yeah, I like to be back out on the streets. Mm-hmm. Cornelius Webb, street named Goldie. Look familiar? Sure he does. Oh, yeah, he does. And he is about to fall, Alvin. It's murder. Murder in the first degree. No pot butt charge. OK, I seen him around, but that don't make me involved. Conspiracy, Alvin. You heard of that. All members of a criminal conspiracy are bound by the actions of members of an agreed cause. That's legal job. In other words, P-Brain, you're a principal. You drove the car. You fall with the rest. I want to talk to my lawyer. I think you ought to talk to a priest. That sounds right. See, Alvin, when we put you back on the street and we take Goldie down, I'm going to put a jacket on you. Jacket? What kind of jacket? You can't do that. You know, Bobby, he ought to find himself a hole because when Goldie finds he's turned, he's going to be in big trouble. Man, he's crazy. He'll have me off. I like the idea. Yeah. Ain't it like murder? Sure is, man. For real. Murder. Murder by proxy. You got to charge me with possession. That cocaine was mine. Well, no, Alvin, I'm sorry. I got another bad piece of news for you. DA gave us a reject on that dope. We told him we didn't have probable cause for the arrest. Yeah, Alvin, you're a free man. I mean, I didn't kill nobody, nobody. I drove, that's all, I just drove. We already know that, Alvin. Now we want something we don't know. It was Goldie, man. He set up the job. Who was with him? Jet. What's his righteous name? I don't know his real name. I only know him as Jet. He's real dark, Jet Black, you know. He live in the jungle? Yeah, man, him and Goldie. What, do these guys play brothers or something? It's like they ain't play brothers and they ain't pops. And you will find that out if you go messing with them. Sounds bad. Very tough. What about Alvin? They busted him, you know that. What'd I just say, man, huh? Alvin is still driving pigs cut him loose, we go tomorrow, and everything's cool. But I don't trust Alvin, man. He's a coke freak. And when he blows snow, he's wired. I said everything's cool. Yeah. It's me, Alvin. Man, I swear, I didn't say nothing. I swear, nothing, nothing. I didn't say nothing. That's good, Alvin. Well, you'd be a long time dead. <laughs> Men. Oh, Lou. Sit down, Lou. Sit down. 
I wanted to tell you that now and again, you're right. I spoke to Bruckner at Robbery Homicide. He said they've already got six teams on loan out. They can't help. They could anyhow. Like I told you before, those jacket and tie detectives would get made in an instant in the jungle. Well, the ball's back in our court. That's all I was trying to say. Is that it, Captain? No, no, no. No, uh, I want you to tell me how we can knock these homicide stats down. These excessive stats. And we're doing everything we can. We're working day and night. That brings us to another problem, overtime. According to the budget report, it seems that your teams are piling up more overtime than any other team in the division. Captain, I didn't invent the team concept. I never liked it. And I've yet to meet a street copper who does. Hey, take it easy, Lou. You know where the team concept comes from. Yeah, I know. And somebody ought to clue the chief in that it's not working. We once had whole squads of specialists pulling together in each division, exchanging leads and ideas. Now what are we? We are fragmented into small competing units called teams. Now, are they helping each other? No, sir. They are vying with each other for stats and numbers. The whole concept of competition is what's creating the low clearance rate and your heavy overtime. Well, if you feel so strongly about teams, why didn't you speak up before? Would you have listened? I'm listening now. No, you are not, sir. Because two minutes ago, you were giving me the same old administrative double talk. Clear more cases and cut the overtime. You tell me how to do that, sir. Maybe you and the tower ought to get together and decide what you really want. All right, I'll tell you what I want, Randall. And I'll tell you what the tower wants. I want progress. And I want instant progress. You can begin with those four new homicide cases you're handling. And you can start with that bakery 211187 and that suspect that you call gold tooth in your reports. Are you finished, sir? Yeah, I'm finished. And I'll get started. Oh, wait a second. Look, I'm caught up in this the same as you are. It's the pecking order. They lean on me, and I have to lean on you. Brandon! Pastor! Get in here. Say it, boss. What do you got there? Looks like a bomb. Well, you might call it liquid explosive. That's corn whiskey from down home. Woo! I feel like drinking it now. <laughs> nah, I'm going to save it until the day I walk out of here. Say it. All right, now look. I got to know where we're sitting with Goldtooth. Captain Holmes is buzzing my tail. All right, Goldtooth. We put Stepler on the street yesterday. He's going to keep in touch, and we got the heat up. Yeah, yeah, and he's rolled over on the other dummies. Now what? Well, we figure we stake out their cribs for a while, huh? We haven't got enough manpower to cover all three pads. Captain Holmes is screaming about overtime again. So we send some Metro guys down there. They don't do anything. Now, Bob, you know, we put Metro in there, they get made in an instant. Gold Tooth will back off his capers for a while, and we'll end up having to pop him and lose the other turkey. Better. How about papers on the pad? We don't have enough for a judge to issue search warrants. What we got to have is more physical evidence for a conviction. Wait a minute. They got to be splitting the tape from those capers, right? The stuff they can't fence or use, they have to be throwing away. You mean like in the garbage? Yeah, garbage. Hey, <clears throat> all we need the trash detail. We don't need search warrants to follow a truck to the dump, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you two guys laughing at? Do you guys know how much trash comes out of there? I forgot it. I got so it, I got it. Guys, all right? Trash detail! Come on, front and center, let's go. Yeah, you guys are gonna love this one. I uh, <clears throat> opened up my You thing. boys are on a trash detail now. Oh, great. What we're looking for is papers, watches, wallets, and particularly the cash box. Anything we can print. Hello. Vanden, yeah. Say it again louder. I can't hear you. I said this is Alvin. Alvin! Alvin! Yes, what's happening, Alvin? Today, I don't know where they want me to drive. All right, then you drive. But then I'm in it again, ain't I? Alvin, we'll try to stop them before they do it. How are you gonna do that? What will I do? Alvin, you got two choices. You back out, Gold Tooth makes you, and you're dead. You go with the pitch, you find out where they're gonna caper, you let me know, and everybody's cool. But if I can't get to a phone? 
Alvin, for your sake, you better. All right. The trash detail can wait. Go set those turkeys. We got them. This time, boys, please. Thank you very much. Okay. 13W71 to 13W65. Our suspect just left his pad. He's crossing the street. He's on the northwest corner of Pitt and Wall. Roger, 71. Okay, all right, just got picked up. If possible, maybe jet. Give us direction and description, Bob. And moving westbound, number two lane. This is a green 68 Buick 391 Charles King Lincoln. Roger, 71. says they don't. W65. Just lost our suspects. <laughs> You flat out blew it. Well, if this city would realize you can't do police work if you don't have enough cops in the street, and if they take some of the pogues out of the glass house, we might be able to do an adequate job of law enforcement. Okay, we blew it. At least they didn't kill anybody. Plan A is back in effect. That means the old trash detail. Front and center. <laughs> Seven one to six five. Hey Kelly, you get the lieutenant's trophy finished? That's a Roger, Bob. All engraved. Inscription in the whole ball of wax. Trash detail. Oh. Ha ha ha. Yo ho ho yourself. <laughs> Village believe in washable ones? I got a great line for you. Yeah? You tell your girlfriend you're a G-man. Yeah, uh, yeah, for Darby. Yeah, you're cute. All right. Hey! Hey! 
Hey, hey! Knock it What's wrong with you guys? Come on, anybody get a look at you two guys? You could both qualify for psycho pension. Cut it out. Hey, Bob. What do you got? Come here. I don't know. It might mean something. Look at here, guys. I think we struck gold. You ever do this the fingerprint course? You no. can't fingerprint unless you've got an expert. Here's the expert. Oh, sorry, guys. you got the wrong building. Department of Sanitation's over on Main Street. How do you like that? I knew he was going to say something cute. <laughs> sure. All right, buddy, here's the pitch. We went to the dump. We got a lot of material evidence. And it has all got to be printed. You've got to be kidding. How long will it take me to print all this stuff? How do you like that? <laughs> Put the heat on. Thank you. As of now, thanks to the garbage and our little trash detail, we got one of the suspects made on prints, another on a photo lineup. The last one is asking for immunity. That's in a limo with the DA working on arrest and search warrants. Sergeant Vanden here will be in charge of the field and he will coordinate the surveillance. I'm working on a helicopter to assist, but there ain't no guarantee we're gonna get one. If it looks like they're gonna caper, I don't want any one team trying to take him down alone. Make sure you've got a backup. I don't want no one hurt. These trickies are mean. They are dangerous. They've killed before. They won't hesitate to kill again. I'd like to reverse that. We couldn't get that lucky. And now, if you can't take them, make sure you take them down before you get inside, whatever the location. Sir? Are these guys bought and paid for? You catch them dirty. Lieutenant? Blow them out of their socks. Hey, Marty. Marty. Hey, what? Come on, I'm going blind here. Take over for a while, will you please? Man, not now. Come on. I'm just having a fantastic dream. Hey, you got any facilities for those kind of dreams? Come on, get over there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. You know how to spoil things. Kelly, that's the second box of chicken you've eaten in the last two hours. What? Man, if you start laying eggs, you clean up the mess. Yeah. Hey! 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 Steckler got in the car. Officers need 
L211 in progress, Darian Bacon. You heard this before, dirtbag. You move and you're a long time dead. One dead and one on the critical list. What kind of cowboys are you ramrodding down there anyway, Lieutenant? They're damn fine cops, Captain. If I'd put robbery and homicide on this in the first place, I wouldn't be seeing a chief in the morning. Under the circumstances, Vanden and Costa did one beautiful job. That's my point exactly. You think it was a grandstand? Oh, you better believe it. From the word go, you told them they could... Look, sir, it was my team area of responsibility, and they got the job done. Ever since I've been transferred in here as captain of this division, you and I have been bucking heads, Randall. Now, you may come out of this smelling like a rose, but let me tell you something for your own good. I am on the commander's list, huh? A word to the wise. You've put in your time. You've done your 20. That's right. You had all the evidence you needed to bust them down in the jungle. Your team chose... Get to the point, sir. If you are entertaining any thoughts on delaying your retirement, disregard them. Count on that. Because I don't want to be around when you make commander. I want to still have pride in this company. The day I turn in my badge. Hey, Lieutenant, you're a little late for the party. I had to pick something up from the barn. Oh, I see you brought your own. Yes, sir. Genuine Ozark sipping whiskey. Uh, moonshine, you mean? Hey, that's a federal wrap. I was gonna save this for my retirement. I was gonna drink it all by myself. Come on, Lou, you're never gonna retire. You'd miss it if you up and pulled the pin, huh? <laughs> it was a good day. Kinda like the good old days, you know? You seen those trainees of mine? Yes, sir. Still out back in the parking lot. They're, they're having a big time. Oh, big. <laughs> That's my team. May I want a beer? Say it again. Hey, say man, it again. the way I see it, we are no longer trainees. Ooh, I yeah. say we are for real homicide dicks. Yeah. <laughs> you you better made You made it. You better believe it. Right I on. Mean, we made the case and we made the bus. Yeah, it was a little <laughs> tough at the finish, though, but man, there was just no other way. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, watch, Tell me. Watch, uh, what's the matter? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Shh, shh. <clears throat> Did she ask for me? Oh, <laughs> well, it's from Lou. Smart guy. It says for you guys, for a job well done. Real down-home stuff, you know? Yep. Hey. To Lou. What do you say, Lou? Mm. Say it. Hey, do you guys think he's gonna understand what we're trying to say here? He'll understand, all right. You can't tell a guy you love him. You'd embarrass him. True. Nah, guys. This is perfect. Couldn't be better.
one of the good guys. <laughs> the trash detail. Mary 6, call the station. 13 Zebra 5, John Frank William 899, 